everybody that makes a team gets the, the gold cap, which is uh, basically the badge of honor. Uh, we have 10 rookies here on the team, so, so it's the first time they're actually uh, seeing that ceremony, which is pretty special. And yeah, that's what they always dreamed of uh, when they were younger, is uh, trying to become a Dolphin, make a team and go to a Commonwealth Games. When the Games first got announced in 2011 on the Gold Coast, I sort of had this feeling deep in my stomach that there's always a team I could potentially make. So I uh, knuckled down with my coach Rich and we wrote down the goal and we just worked and worked and worked until we made that dream a reality. A part of me thought that maybe it would never happen for me. It was just something that maybe wasn't supposed to happen for my swimming career. So the fact that it's happened and I have my own swimmer number and it's great to be recognised as part of history. I've been through a lot to get here and you know, worked really hard, I've had some hiccups along the way. It's such a good feeling to, to finally make the team and reach my goals that I set eight years ago when I started swimming. You know that you've done it after trials but it doesn't really become real until now. You know, It's really good to get the whole team together and you really feel supported again. I've dreamed of this since I was a little kid, you know, being on the Australian swim team and to finally like be on it, like I can't even describe how excited I am. Yeah, it was awesome. It's my first time, so I'm pretty happy to make it and you know, be able to compete in front of a home crowd is um, pretty humbling. So all the guys that are a bit older than me and more experienced have really shown me the way and you know, I just can't wait to get out and compete. Maddie Groves has been pretty supportive with everything that I've done so far, so she's been messaging me before and like we've been in contact before um, the trials and everything, so she's always been someone that I aspire to be being a silver medalist in my event, so yeah. Blake Cochran, I compete against alongside him in the 100 breaststroke and yeah, he's a true legend of para sport and you know, someone I look up to. Um, yeah, most of the SA boys, you know, Kyle, Travis and Jesse, they've been pretty helpful. Jake Packard also, you know, straight away he said, you know, you need anything, just ask. And um, I'm rooming with Mitch and he's you know, a great help. Jess Ashwood and Jack McLaughlin. They've both uh, helped us out a lot, actually, transitioning into the team and getting settled down. The only thing we're really asking from them is to embrace it, to enjoy the moment, trying not to become too worried or stressed about it, which is easy to say, of course, uh, but they've, they've prepared for that as well.